The kids grew up and now they're gone as the clock keeps ticking on through all the joy and tears. Now it's the golden years. Since the last episode, Ruby's parents had a party and invited her around. She sang karaoke with Marcella, her sister-in-law. And then took a selfie with her. Ruby reached level 10 of logic skill, which I thought she would have done ages ago. And Belle's puppy Ariel has aged up. And so has her brother Drew, who lives with Lyle now in his little house. And she looks quite a lot like Belle, but she has light blue eyes, whereas Belle has brown eyes. Welcome back to the Golden Years. Ruby's watching the Weather Channel and she's paying her household bills. And hey, is that Brent Hecking on the TV? Brun is exercising while studying opponents for work which he has later this afternoon. And I've actually removed all the Christmas decorations and restored some of the original ones and also kind of updated it a bit with a bit more uh, new stuff. So yeah, Christmas is over as you know from the last episode but uh, it's still of course <laughs> Christmas coming up for us in real life. <laughs> And yeah, along with the, the remodeling, I've also changed Lysa's bedroom. I've expanded it onto the hallway and made it basically an art room for Ruby. Because it's new skill day and Ruby is going to paint and improve her painting skill. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with Lyle's bedroom yet. Uh, we'll see it a bit later on. Uh, but I'll think about it. <laughs> um, yeah, number of different things I could do. So Brun's still working out and studying opponents. And hey look, it's Belle. She's doing well. <laughs> I'm a poet and I think I knew it actually. <laughs> And here is little Ariel, although she's not really little anymore now, is she? She has all grown up. And yeah, like I said in the recap, she looks a lot like Belle, but uh, the fur on her back is a bit different, and she's got a few uh, kind of aspects of her body shape that she got from her dad, who is a male dog called Shep, including his light blue eyes. But yeah, she looks a bit dirty, so I'm going to get Bran to give her a bath. And back to Ruby. Ruby is finishing off her painting. Not quite a masterpiece, but actually for the first painting uh, in a long while at least, it's pretty good, I would say. So yeah, let's give it a frame and stick it on the wall. And I was just about to get her to do something else, but she started painting anyway, so I decided just to leave her. And let's see what she comes up with. I guess she was so inspired being in her new art room that she just wanted to start painting <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, I'm very curious to see what she comes up with. Um, and yeah, I did make her resume that, but I think uh, she gets distracted along the way. So let's see how Brun's doing. He's completed his uh, studying of opponents required for his work, so let's cancel that and he can go and give Ariel a bath. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at Belle. She's waiting at the door. I don't know if Ruby went in there. But yeah, looks like she's got enough food, 
so she should be fine. And of course the neighborhood is still blanketed in snow. I wonder how those veggies are doing. She's got a few uh, plants still. There's a few that uh, arrived in some of the most recent packs that she hasn't got up to perfect uh, quality level yet. So yeah, we'll get to tend those and see what happens. And lucky Ariel is getting a bath. Oh, it looks like no plants need tending at the moment. And there's no mail. Oh look, it's Lyle. He's inviting Brun over to his house, Ripley Cottage. But uh, I don't really want to show you that yet because that will be a massive spoiler. So I think we'll leave that one for now. It looks like one of those little robo vacuum cleaners is uh, having a bit of a, an outside adventure. <laughs> and yeah, Ruby's plants are all okay. Oh look, this orchid is excellent quality. So yeah, let's see if we can give it some. Doesn't need any fertilizer, so we'll leave that one. What about this one? Black bean bush. Give it some large pet poop as fertilizer. <laughs> Poor Ruby, her pockets are jammed full of pet poop. <laughs> Looks like the other plants don't need fertilizer. The potato is already perfect quality. And I can't see the quality on that. Magnificent quality for the avocado tree. And we're going to give it some large pet poop as well. <laughs> Maybe one day she'll actually run out of that. Uh, but for the moment she's got a lot. <laughs> she could probably start a commercial garden and... Uh, you know, have it constantly supplied. So yeah, let's get her to finish that. Apparently a landscape painting that she's started. Brun is in his outdoor cold weather gear. I don't know what his plan was. Was he going to go outside? It's not quite his work time, is it? Uh, but it's getting very close. Maybe we can get him to take uh, one of the dogs for a walk. But he's going to feel the love with Ariel first. Oh, look. Ruby got to level 3 of painting, which is good. And yeah, let's take... Uh, oh look! She does want to go for a walk, that's that's Belle there. We're going to take her for a short walk. Because it looks like uh, Brun has work in just an hour. And now the short walk, from my experience, is actually quite a long experience. <laughs> so, he probably won't finish that in that hour, but oh well. Anyway, he has given the love to uh, to Ariel, and uh, I'm sure Ariel appreciated that. Uh, Ruby is doing not quite as well with this landscape painting as she did with her first kind of still life painting. Um, so I think there's definitely room to to improve, but you can see her skill going up the top there. So it's uh, it's definitely a work in progress. Uh, you know, she's a uh, very scientific kind of sim. <laughs> uh, so she hasn't had as much... Uh, I can't think of anything really creative that she's done. <laughs> but uh, talking about creative, how about she uh, levels up that singing skill? Because when she was singing at Christmas in the last episode, I felt she could do better. So yeah, let's give her some uh, practice. She's very close to level 6 uh, singing skill, it seems. I'm feeling a photo opportunity is coming on. There you go, lovely photo of her singing with the full family portrait behind her. Always love seeing those family por portraits. Really like that uh, portrait thingy that you get with uh, linking your mobile account with uh, the PC game. So Brun's outside with Belle, and looks like the walk is going well. There seems to be some uh, pile of leaves over there that looks really stinky. And we've got a little kind of uh, pet mound there to explore. So I quickly got uh, Ruby to burn that pile of leaves, so we'll see her doing that in a sec. And look, it's Ruby's dad, Timothy. What's he doing? He's being mauled by stray dogs. <laughs> they must be really hungry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
I haven't turned off stray dogs with a mod, so we still get them around. Uh, yeah, a little jump there, just had to cut out a little bit there. But uh, you might see some more of those later on, but uh, they're not big cuts. But it looks like Timothy's going up towards the house, so maybe he's going to say hi to Ruby. Little boy scout there. Some uh, non played character of some description. Ruby's burning the, <laughs> the leaves, and there's like a burn money option. I don't think that, you know, they've got a lot of money, but I can. I just can't get my head around the idea of burning money. I mean, at least give it to charity. Uh, if you've got so much of it. Or, hey, give it to me. <laughs> and yeah, let's switch over to her friend of the animals um, aspiration. I wish there was better kind of switching between aspirations. Especially because, for example, the Jungle Adventure and the Get Famous packs both brought two aspirations. That you often want to quickly switch between. I uh, just wish there was more user interface support for uh, working on multiple aspirations at once. Uh, you know, maybe if you could do three aspirations at once or something like that, and they were always on display and they were always being checked for, that would be cool. So Ruby's uh, trying to do things for this positivity challenge that she still has, um, but for some reason it's not actually picking them up right let's take Ruby away she is going to go to the artist studio and cafe in Willow Creek which is a lot that I made and you'll find it on my gallery under of course Frimlin and let's take the dogs let's take Ariel and Belle so here we are on this street in Willow Creek and we've got the artist studio and cafe here and she's going to order a drink she's going to ask for the barista's recommendation because uh, why not <laughs> and let's see who turns up but yeah, on the street I've got a, a few different retail stores that I've made there is an art gallery next door with a gym above it and it's actually set as a gym so you can go and work out there I think we've been there in uh, the vampire vet but yeah that was a while ago like months ago <laughs> hello this guy's not very happy his name's dan wang yeah it's dan wang and uh, i think he works with ruby and in, in the science career if i'm not mistaken i might be mistaken so i just saw is it bell cowering inside and look there's ada Beda who Ruby doesn't know, but since she's sitting at the table with her, I thought it would just be nice to introduce yourself. Uh, but Ada's just walking away. Why do they have to do that? I guess because the polite introduction animation is standing up, <laughs> and there's no, you know, shaking the hands animation for when they're sitting down. Just imagine having to do the animation for that. That would be very complicated, because you never know the other sitting down person is going to be you'd have to do loads of different animations for that <laughs> so ada beta is one of the kids of the beaters that came along in the city living expansion and she has a brother in my game uh, called sam oh look it's isla webb isla webb is the mother of ruby's son finn's girlfriend helica so yeah, Isla is Helica's mum, and I gotta say, I really like her pink and white, uh, you know, outdoors costume there. I mean, some of the other costumes, they're okay, but there's, uh, you know, quite a lot of bright colours going he on here uh, for Ada, for example. <laughs> um, but I really like Isla's clothing, it just works really well. So Ruby's still trying to do interactions to meet the requirements of this uh, positivity challenge aspiration. But honestly, I think it's just switched off now uh, because the challenge isn't running anymore. It finished a few weeks ago, so I think I just missed out. And I may have to wait, you know, like a whole year for it to come back. So I think I'm going to have to switch her aspirations over uh, at some point to something else. Um, Ruby complimented Ada's uh, costume there, her, sorry, her outfit costume, <laughs> uh, 
And that is Ariel outside of the back there. Um, she's just kind of watching all the strangers go by. And at some point I guess we'll want to get Ariel mated so we can have more puppies because, you know, everyone needs more puppies, right? <laughs> <laughs> and also, I think Belle the dog is getting a little bit older now. I think she's actually an elder. So it's interesting seeing all the people walking by. I This is one of the things I love about coming out uh, of the house, is you see a lot of different sims from around town. I think that's the same scout that we saw down by the, the beach. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of these sims... I don't usually see, um, so it's it's nice to see them. And I was looking for members of uh, Ruby's extended family, but I just can't seem to find any. So I think they haven't come out uh, to the artist's studio and cafe. So why did she come here? Well, because I thought I can continue learning a bit more about painting here, perhaps. Uh, so we'll get to do some painting upstairs in the studio uh, soon. But yeah, I'm just looking to see who else is around. Now this Clara Chandler seems to have a bad relationship with Ruby. So let's like chat her up and try and fix that because I don't like Ruby having uh, a bad relationship with Sims that I think are pretty normal, nice Sims. Hey, look, George is sending a text message. Do you want to hang out tonight? Says George. George is uh, Ruby's nephew. That's uh, her twin Rodney's eldest child. So Ruby's still going on that coffee. <laughs> so it's quite an economical coffee, I would say. I wish my coffees would last that long. Now I always go and try this help fix bad re relationship uh, interaction. And then I look at the people that she can help uh, fix the relationship with and I think, I don't know those Sims. You know, maybe it's quite justified that they have, uh, you know, a bad relationship. So Ruby's also been trying to uh, teach people archeology span because that gives her a bit more fame or at least the chance of a bit more fame, I think. And uh, she's got a little bit of fame, but I think she could do with a bit more because, you know, she is the star of her own Let's Play series, after all. So yeah, Ruby kind of talks to people in the cafe, and then she goes upstairs and uh, does some painting. And we're actually going to do a city mural, which I don't know if I have done much of <laughs> in my playtime. But yeah, so she starts just spraying the ground and I think she's going for some kind of snow theme because everything's white. But yeah, basically there's uh, three levels to this uh, building. There's the cafe downstairs and then there's this studio here and then I think above there's kind of like a, an attic that also has a few more spaces to paint uh, on the ground as well so if you were really in the mood to paint and perhaps if you had some friends you could come along here perhaps you know in a, like a painting club and everyone would have somewhere to paint It'd be quite good wouldn't it? and uh, yeah there's various objects around to inspire artists as well and look she's got level four of painting skill yay so a little while later and uh, Ruby's snow scene <laughs> is doing well. Honestly, I think it's a bug. But yeah, how are the dogs? I think that's Belle. It's a bit hard to tell from just this far away. But she's kind of overwhelmed, I think, by all the people coming in, all the strangers. But this guy, Val Stewart, is being nice to her. And look, it's Ariel. Ariel's got a little present. So let's get Ruby to go and pick that up because... I think Ruby needs a break away from that snow scene that she's painting. <laughs> and look, Val Stewart is coming out to say hello to Ariel as well, so he must be a dog lover. Or something like that. But he's definitely also a geek. And yeah, he's a teen as well, I noticed. He must have been a friend of some of Ruby's kids. So Ruby has found some kind of toy 
in the present box anyway. Let's send her home. After a successful day leveling up her painting skill. And look what's waiting for her at home. <laughs> so yeah, that's episode 2 of The Golden Years. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll come back for another episode soon. I'm also going to do some more speed builds, don't worry. And I think I'm going to have a contest coming up as well. So yeah, watch out for that. Anyhow, take care. And goodbye.